Hello, welcome to my channel subscribe or like if you like. Today we are going to talk about the medicine sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. We will explain its mechanism of action, its side effects, its dosage, its uses, its contraindications, its warnings, pregnancy and indications. The brand names of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim are Bactrim, Septra, Cotrim, Sulfatrim, Soltrim, Bactilin, Ectaprim, Septrin, Sulfurt, Trimexazole. Mechanism of Action of Sulfamethoxazole and Trimethoprim Sulfamethoxazole competitively inhibits the use of paraminobenzoic acid, PABA, in the synthesis of dihydrofolate produced in the bacterial cell producing bacteria stasis. Trimethoprim reversibly inhibits bacterial dihydrofolate reductase, DHFR, an enzyme active in the metabolic pathway of folate, which converts dihydrofolate into tetrahydrofolate. Depending on the conditions, the effect could be bactericidal. Thus, trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole block two consecutive stages in the biosynthesis of purines and thus essential nucleic acids for many bacteria. This action produces a marked enhancement of the in vitro activity between the two agents. Therapeutic indications of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Oral. First choice in adults, adolescents, infants and children, over 6 weeks, for treatment and prevention of picarine pneumonia, primary prophylaxis of toxoplasmosis, nocardiosis, melioidosis. Second choice in acute otitis media, acute exacerbations of chronic bronchitis in patients without risk factors, acute uncomplicated infections of the urinary tract, cystitis, pyelonephritis, infectious diarrhea, treatment of toxoplasmosis, granuloma inguinale, donovanosis, brucellosis. Intravenous. First choice, in adults and children over two months for, treatment of picarine pneumonia, nocardiosis. Second choice for the treatment of, toxoplasmosis, listeriosis, and infections with methicillin-resistant S. aureus, MRSA, strains such as osteomyelitis and septic arthritis or skin and soft tissue infections. Side effects and adverse reactions of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Candidiasis. Hyperkalemia. Headache. Nausea, diarrhea. Skin rashes. Other adverse reactions identified after evaluation of pharmacovigilance data, acute febrile neutrophilic dermatosis, sweet syndrome. Pathology of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Sulfamethoxazole trimethoprim. Oral. Adults and children over 12 years old, 800 and 160 of a milligram slash 12 hours. Infants and children under 12 years, average dose 36 of a milligram slash kg slash day, from 6 to 12 years, 480 of a milligram slash 12 hours, from 6 months to 5 years, 240 of a milligram slash 12 hours, from 6 weeks to 5 months, 120 of a milligram slash 12 hours. After 7 days of treatment reevaluate. Intravenous perfusion after dilution. Adults and children over 12 years old, mild moderate infection, 800 and 160 of a milligram slash 12 hours, severe infection, 1600 320 of a milligram slash 6 to 12 hours, children 2 months to 12 years, medium dose 16 slash 3.2 milligrams slash kg slash 12 hours, from 6 to 12 years, 480 of a milligram slash 12 hours, from 6 months to 5 years, 240th of a milligram slash 12 hours, from 2 to 5 months, 120th of a milligram slash 12 hours. Uncomplicated urinary infection and infectious diarrhea, 800 and 160th of a milligram slash 12 hours, in children, 25 fifths of a milligram slash kg slash 12 hours, 3 days. Pneumonia due to Picarini. Treatment in adults and children, 75 to 115 to 20 mg slash kg slash day, in two or more divided doses, two weeks. Prophylaxis. Adults, 800 and 160th of a milligram slash day, seven days, or, 
800 and 160 of a milligram or 1. 600 320 of a milligram slash day three times slash week and alternate days. Children from 6 to 12 years old, 480 of a milligram slash 12 hours, 7 days or 3 times slash week and alternate or consecutive days. Children 6 months to 5 years old, 240 of a milligram slash 12 hours, 7 days or 3 times slash week and alternate or consecutive days. Children 6 weeks to 5 months, 120th of a milligram slash 12 hours, 7 days or 3 times slash week and alternating or consecutive days maximum 1600 320ths of a milligram slash day. Toxoplasmosis. Primary prophylaxis. Adults and children over 12 years old, 480ths of a milligram slash day or 800 and 160th of a milligram 3 times slash week or 800 and 160th of a milligram slash day. Children. 750 150 ths of a milligram slash m2 per day max 1600 320 ths of a milligram slash day treatment in adults no data in children 25 fifths of a milligram slash kg slash 12 hours six weeks granuloma inguinale donovanosis 800 and 160 ths of a milligram slash 12 hours three weeks or until lesions disappear no cardiosis, 50 75 tenths to 15 mg slash kg slash day in two or more divided doses, three to six months. In case of CNS infection, disseminated infection or existence of immunosuppression, duration of treatment greater than one year. Brucellosis. Adults and children over 8 years old, 800 and 160 ths of a mg slash 12 hours, 6 weeks, children under 8 years old. First choice treatment, 25 fifths of a milligram slash kg slash 12 hours, 6 weeks. Melioidosis, 40 eighths of a milligram slash kg slash 12 hours, 3 to 6 months. Listeriosis, adults, 50 100 tenths to 20 milligrams slash kg slash day in 2 to 4 doses, 2 weeks in patients with bacteremia and 2 to 4 weeks in patients with CNS. In immunosuppressed patients, 3 to 6 weeks in bacteremia and 4 to 8 weeks in CNS affectation. Children, 50 60 tenths to 12 mg slash kg slash day in 4 doses, 14 to 21 days. Osteomyelitis and septic arthritis. Adults, 3.4 to 4 mg slash kg slash dose slash 8 to 12 hours. Purulent cellulite. Adults. 800 to 1600 and 160 to 320 mg slash 12 hours, children, 20 to 30 slash from 4 to 6 mg slash kg slash 12 hours. Skin and soft tissue infections. Adults, 800 and 160 ths of a mg slash 12 hours. Mode of administration of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Oral. Take with food or drink to minimize any possible gastrointestinal upset. Intravenous route, perfusion should be 60 to 90 minutes. Contraindications of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. History of hypersensitivity to any of the active ingredients or to sulfonamides, premature infants and children 6 weeks old, oral route, or less than 2 months old, intravenous route. Suspected or confirmed diagnosis of acute porphyria, documented megaloblastic anemia due to folate deficiency, severe renal failure, severe liver failure. Also by oral route, concomitant treatment with dofalitide. Also by intravenous route, pregnancy and lactation. Warnings and precautions with sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Resistance of microorganisms involved in acute otitis media and acute exacerbation of chronic bronchitis, S. pneumoniae, and uncomplicated urinary tract infection, E. coli, may vary from country to country. The health professional should take into account local resistance data. Rare cases of death have occurred due to severe reactions, including fulminant hepatic necrosis, A. granulocytosis, A. plastic anemia, other blood dyscrasias and respiratory system hypersensitivity. Do not administer to patients with severe hematological disorders except under close medical supervision. 
severe skin reactions such as Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis have been reported, monitor and stop treatment if they occur. Hypersensitivity reactions with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms, dress, may occur. Perform blood counts monthly, especially in prolonged treatment, elderly and folate deficit. Caution in, renal insufficiency, adjust pathology, liver parenchymal injury, elderly, G6PDH deficiency, risk of hemolysis, phenylketonuria, patients at risk of hyperkalemia and hypernatremia, monitor Na and K. Not recommended in treatment of pharyngitis due to beta-hemolytic streptococcus group A, S. pyogenes, maintain adequate diuresis. Risk of, diarrhea and pseudomembranous colitis due to C. difficile. Also in intravenous route, caution in patients with severe allergies, bronchial asthma or AIDS. Liver failure and sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Contraindicated in severe liver failure. Caution in patients with liver parenchymal injury. Renal insufficiency in sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Contraindicated in severe insufficiency. Interactions with sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Contraindicated with dofelitide. Risk of ventricular arrhythmia is associated with prolongation of the QT interval, including torsade de point. Risk of thrombocytopenia and hyponatremia with diuretics especially thiazide, especially in the elderly. Risk of megaloblastic anemia with doses greater than 25 mg of pyrimethamine. Monitoring with zidovudine, lamivudine, warfarin, phenidoin, oral anti-diabetic sulfonylurea type. Increases effect of anti-diabetics, adjust dosage, antivirals, zidovudine, zalcitabine, lamivudine, amantadine, immunosuppressants. Dacrolimus, oral anticoagulants, warfarin, antiarrhythmics, procainamide, digoxin, antiepileptic, phenidoin, antibiotics, rifampicin, dapsone, methotrexate. Reversible impairment of renal function, renal transplantation with cyclosporin. Competitive inhibition of active renal secretion with substances forming cations at physiological pH, for example procainamide. Amantadine may increase both plasma concentrations. Increases plasma concentration of digoxin in the elderly. Caution with medicines that produce hyperkalemia, ACE inhibitors, potassium aminobenzoate, local anesthetics, ethanol, foods rich in potassium. Potential risk of myelosuppression with methotrexate, pyrimethamine, methotrexate, mercaptopurine, azathioprine. Administer folate supplement in concomitance with methotrexate or antifolate. Alters the metabolism of phenylalanine. Prolongation of the QD interval with antiarrhythmics, percanamide, quinidine, antipsychotics, chlorpromazine, haloperidol, antidepressants, mipramine, antifungals, ketoconazole, antibiotics, erythromycin, antihistamines, terfenidine, astemazole. Lab, interferes in the determination of methotrexate with LKCI dihydrofolate reductase, of plasma creatinine with alkaline picrate reaction, interferes in thyroid function tests. Pregnancy and sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole cross the placenta and its safety in pregnant women has not been established. Trimethoprim is a folate antagonist and in animal studies both substances have produced fetal malformations. Case control studies have shown that there may be an association between exposure to folate antagonists and birth defects in humans. Therefore, cotrimoxazole should be avoided in pregnancy unless the potential benefit to the mother is greater than the potential risk to the fetus and a high-dose folate supplement, up to 4 or 5 mg slash day may be considered if cotrimoxazole is used during pregnancy. Sulfamethoxazole competes with bilirubin for binding to plasma albumin. When given to the mother before delivery, there may be a risk of precipitating or exacerbating neonatal hyperbilirubinemia, with a theoretically associated risk of kernicterus as significant plasma levels of the maternal drug persist in the newborn for several days.
This theoretical risk is particularly relevant in children with an increased risk of hyperbilirubinemia, such as premature babies or children with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, so citramoxazole administration should be avoided in late pregnancy. Breastfeeding and sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim Trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole are excreted in breast milk. When children have or are at particular risk of developing hyperbilirubinemia, are premature, or have glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, GE6PD, deficiency, catramoxazole should be avoided in nursing mothers. Effects on driving ability with sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. The influence on the ability to drive and use machines is zero or negligible.